Hi guys. So today I am bringing you something a little different because of a little tiny treasure I found in the bookstore a little while back. Um, I thought I would share it with you guys. Uh, if you've been on this channel for any length of time at all, you know that I am somewhat unhealthily obsessed with the mangaka Moto Hagio. Uh, and she had a very exciting release in English in 2019 that was the first of two omnibus volumes of her series, The Poe Clan, uh, which was quite popular when it came out in the 70s. And this coincides with a release, uh, like a collector's edition release, that also came out in Japan this year. And this year, last year, 2019, uh, which also also coincides with the 50-year anniversary of Moto Hagio's career. So we've been getting all kinds of little collector's items and goodies and merch related to her work as a whole, uh, and the Poe clan in particular, because it does have a sequel series currently running. On that sort of train of collector's random bits and bobs related to the Poe clan, uh, I found this in the bookstore and I was extremely excited because this is a coloring book of the Poe clan. Um, I'm sure it was very easy for them to make and pump out using old illustrations. Um, but I am so excited to have just this little oddity. Uh, Hagio's illustrations obviously are gorgeous and lush, there's all these little details in them. Um, and now those details are cleared of color so that we can uh, use our imagination. So I thought that today I would share these beautiful illustrations with you and, you know, have a nice little calming time coloring in one of the pictures. And maybe if you have a coloring book of your own, uh, especially if you have uh, one of these weird little uh, manga coloring books, uh, I would love it if you would join along with me and we could have just a little coloring time. But first, I do want to share with you the illustrations in here. Um, obviously, if you see this style, this is Motohagio's new style. So these are mostly images from the sequel series. Um, so very recent, 2016, 2017, 2018. Uh, if you see more of this style, this is original illustrations from the 70s. So yeah, let us go on an adventure. So the illustrations are reprinted very high quality. Uh, not a detail is missed, so I appreciate that a lot. Here's one from the sequel series. We have our two brothers, Edgar and Alan, uh, in a field of roses. Maybe this is the field of roses outside the Poe clan. Uh, this one is a page from the original manga, of course. We have more roses. Um, if you haven't read the Poe clan, it is a series about a clan of vampires uh, called the Poe clan who sustain themselves not only on human blood and human essence, but also on roses. Um, and in particular, it's about these two brothers, uh, Edgar and Alan. Brothers, boyfriends, frenemies, you know. <laughs> uh, here's another series from the sequel series with the two brothers together. And another one. Um, this one's quite simple, I think. Here's one from the 70s. Um, we have Edgar's sister, Mary Bell, here as well. Uh, very lovely. Here's a page from the sequel series manga. So that'll be fun to color the piano. There's our boys. Sipping tea like the true Brits that they are. I'm sure it's rose tea. Here's a drawing of Edgar from the 70s. Um, and it does cite where the illustration is from down here. So like this one is from um, 2017. 
an illustration for the sequel series, where this one is from uh, 1975. So this one I've seen in color. Um, a lot of them I have. This one's quite well known, I think. Uh, but this one I've also seen in color. It's very cute. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing. He looks like he should be holding a cane, but he's not. So I'm not sure what that's about. He's just like doing some kind of dance move. I don't know. Um, she's ominous. I don't know what that's about. I haven't read the sequel series yet. So, but uh, Edgar looking very cool here. This one I love. This is gorgeous. Seri uh, from the sequel series. Uh, it just looks really fun to color. So this is a big candidate for today's coloring journey. Uh, this is one of my favorite illustrations that's actually included in this book, uh, the, the first omnibus. Um, I'm not going to go dig it out because I didn't bookmark it or anything. But I really do love this illustration of all of the major players in this particular chapter. Uh, lots of roses. So many roses. Uh, it looks like Alan uh, might be struggling a little bit, I don't know. But um, some romantic tension there. Uh, here's another page from the original manga. This one has the whole family. This is before Alan joined um, and before Mary Bell's passing. So this is the cover of the first volume of the new sequel spinoff series, uh, Dreams of Spring. So this one is one of my favorites. Uh, I don't know. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> Here we've got Edgar looking very handsome. And another one of Edgar. So we can see the contrast in styles from the new series to the old series. Um, this is another candidate for what we're going to color today. I kind of want to do one with Edgar and Alan, but this is actually one of my favorite illustrations from this series. So it's kind of between those two. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. This one will be fun to color too, of course. This is from the cover, I believe. Yep. So, rocking some uh, rather daring fashion here. <laughs> this is another cover from um, the sequel series, if I remember right. Um, here we've got a whole bunch of people. This will be fun to color. It's got the skeletons and creepy mask dude in the background, so that's kind of fun. I really like this one as well. Make sure you can see that. Um, with Edgar and Alan, I like all the sea creatures and the little, little Dionysus cherubs it looks like. We got grapes and instruments, so like Bacchus kind of imagery. Um, now that's a good picture. <laughs> These are my boys. Yeah, that's what I love. Do they hate each other? Do they love each other? Do they want each other? You just don't know. The answer to that question is yes. I don't know what's going on with these like dancers up here, but all right, you know. Yeah, my boys. <laughs> my boys loving each other. He's like, what? Got a problem? Love it. Love it. Um, obviously, the flower motifs in the bedspread, I kind of like that they sort of spread out like veins. That's kind of fun. And that's the end. We also have a bibliography of the images. You can see a lot of them in color back here as well. So I guess if you want to use them for inspiration or if you want to like just completely go off, you know, follow your heart. So yeah, uh, I'm 
thinking. Ugh, I'm still debating between those two. I think I might go with this one just because I do want to get Alan in there as well. So we're going to, you know, switch over to a slightly different setup maybe and begin coloring. Thank you. 